Hello everyone, um, it's me again. Um, my name is Olivia and this is going to be my non-governmental organization video. Um, I have decided to do mine on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Um, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation says that all lives have equal value and that they being themselves and their employees, um, are impatient optimists looking to reduce inequality. Um, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation strives to provide education and health care to impoverished families and children so that they can work their way up the ladder out of poverty. Um, they mostly focus on developing countries, though there are um, places in the United States, one of them being Washington, not D.C., um, but Washington State. They're working in the um, less fortunate areas there, um, but they are mostly focusing, again, on developing countries and are out to prove that the United States is a place that has enough in its reserves to look out for the sake of humanity, um, around the world and also in its own community um, and supply resources to better those lives of though of whom don't have access to the same things we do. Um, to go further into detail with how they're investing um, in their lives. Um, right now they're focusing on a few different categories, one of them being nutrition. Um, a little bit more about that is that they're focusing on nutrition to lower infant and child death rates. Um, they've seen this as an opportunity to provide for others what they can't provide for themselves. Um, they have a approach to improving nutrition that focuses on a few different things. Um, one of them is the thousand day window, which is the importance of nutrition within the first thousand days of life. Um, immediate and exclusive breastfeeding, which introduces a whole lot to a child's microbiome, as well as um, defense against different sort of ailments um, that newborns can have, as well as classes and nutrition assistance for mom as well. Um, they also offer complementary feeding, food fortification, and supplementation. Um, in addition to nutrition and obviously healthcare, um, they also provide financial stability classes and training techniques for sustainable farming, um, as well as family planning and college tuition assistance to better help them later on in life, not fall back into poverty after graduating. Um, I chose this organization because it meshes perfectly with the final paper that I am writing um, that discusses universal health care and the opportunities that other countries and people have um, to make an impact on those less fortunate. Um, I would be greatly honored to work for this company and hope that one day I find the opportunity after graduating um, with a biology degree um, to do work under the organization on the spread and containment of infectious diseases in, in uh, third world countries and, and elsewhere. Um, the only recommendation that I would have for this foundation would be to expose themselves a little bit more. I know that we all know about Bill Gates, but I don't think that it's spoken enough um, in the media for a lot of people to know what they're doing or, or have, um, I don't know, an idea of how to become involved. Um, I think that raising more awareness and funding for themselves would be helpful as well as opening opportunities um, to the public rather than just people that are working there um, to become involved as well. Um, I mean, without college, I would have no idea what's going on in these kinds of countries. So I think that it's really important to open everybody else's eyes to the public um, who don't take moments to, to look at what's going on around them um, and to see what kind of opportunities they have to assist others. 
I just think it's important to recognize um, what's going on around us and to be grateful for what we have and more open to giving um, more or even open to giving anything at all if we haven't previously. So that's why I chose this foundation. Um, I think they're doing great work and I hope to hear more from them in the future. And um, I know that uh, I'll be talking more about them in my final paper as well. Thank you.